Hello guys, and welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another Minecraft episode. Oh yeah, Minecrafting with Amarchi, and today, what? I have a piece of bread in one hand and my sword in the other. I'm ready to go. Hey, would you let, you want a slice? Here, I'll, I'll cut up some bread. Here, you want a, sli want a slice? Oh, 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 cut up some bread. Right, slice it up. Okay, anyway, we are on Minecraft. 15W31A, 15W31A is the latest snapshot, came out today, pretty cool stuff, you could see that in my bottom, my hotbar, there's an extra bar, extra slot, if you don't know what that is, that's the offhand, I hit F and I could switch, uh, for now I'm using it for food, I might find a more, a better use later, but for food it's pretty good, you just keep your food there and then whenever you need a bite you just hit F, and you eat, hit F, eat, and then just put it back. And you can hold it in your off hand. So I could, you know, be chopping some wood or something. And then take a bite. And then chop some... Oh, what? That's weird. And then chop some more wood. Apparently, this is a very bug-ridden update. There's a lot of bugs in it. Uh, one thing that's cool that I noticed that looks kind of cool is when you have a bow in one hand and a sword in the other. It's kind of cool. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Also, if you notice, uh, look at my bow in my hotbar. The bow moves back in the hotbar. One, another update. There's, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, some of it's more subtle. Some of it we just haven't gotten to. However, uh, in this version, this is the first version of the snapshot. Apparently, there's another one coming out tomorrow, which would be 15W31B. Uh, they fix signs. So if you're using the snapshot, don't mess around with signs and books until they are fixed because apparently signs and books can ruin your world. So today, I, I already made a copy of the world, but I'm not going to be picking up any signs or any books or anything like that. I'm just going to lay low. But you can see I organized our chest here. Very nice. Uh, I did some organization so that it makes sense. However, it put everything in parentheses. I don't know why it did that. It did that once I updated to the snapshot. It did that, but I'm not picking up those signs because I don't want to really mess with signs if they're broken. Got a golden chest plate from a zombie. Uh, nothing, nothing else much happened. Uh, today, we're going to get to work on our branch mine, actually. I have four main projects in my head. It's this plus one. See right here. I got a carrot farm I want to build, work on the stables, work on the branch mine, and build a sugarcane farm. I got some cool ideas for a sugarcane farm. That's just the beginning of what I want to do. Today, we're going to work on the branch mine. Uh... I'd prefer to start new projects with you guys, but there, I gotta finish up what I already started. Uh, there's actually a lot to be done in the branch mine. I want it to be pretty awesome. I want to be able to use this for a while. I want to hook up carts, loaders, and unloaders, and all that stuff. We're not going to be able to do it all today. Probably just start with some beautification and some more work today and see where we get. So... The way I like to build branch mines, I don't know if everyone does it this way or just me, but I always build branch mines the same way. 3x3x, three by three by, I guess it's just a 3x3, three 3x3x by three, three by three by 120 something tunnel. I believe it's 120 blocks. Stretches down, turns, and goes up. So all this, you know, this, down, around, and back, is one quarter of it. So it's going to go down that way, down that way, and down that way. All four directions. Oh, zombie. Supposedly combat has changed a lot. I haven't noticed much changes in combat. I don't know if it's just in my head, but it seems that uh, not zombies so much as skeletons are walking differently. Like they look somewhat different. Oh, I hear one. I hear one. I want to show you guys a skeleton to see if it's actually different. Where is he? He's around here somewhere. But I've already done a lot of branch mining down here. Uh, so... I have my stone bricks. I have a design in mind for what it should look like. Uh, I'm going to get to work on it, and I'll be back. First off, I'm just going to go for some beautification, some upgrades to the, uh, to the aesthetics of this place, the way it actually looks. So I'm going to dig this out and put down stairs here because I like the way that looks. And dig these out and put down slabs. Oh, you know what I was just thinking? I'm thinking about uses for this offhand. One use could be like... What if you kept your compass there as you walked around and you went exploring? <gasps> what if you put a map in that other hand? 
All right, we'll have to try some of that stuff out. For now, I'm going to get to work on this. I'll be back once I get some, some done. All right, guys, so I've been playing in here for a little while now. A uh, couple things I've noticed. Uh, all new things about the snapshot. So first, what I'm going to do is just uh, grab some stone, get it smelting. Uh, and, because I already used pretty much all the stone and stone brick I have. There we go, nice. Uh, a couple things. One, very cool. So if I have, if I have uh, bread in my offhand, I didn't notice this before because I had the sword in, but take a tool that isn't going to interact with the block. So take a tool, put it to a block that it won't interact with. So if I right click on a dirt block with a pick, nothing happens, right? Nope, I eat. It's pretty cool. So it works with anything. It just doesn't work with the sword or like, anything that has a right click animation because it'll just do the right click animation but if you were to hold a shovel what what the heck what what is this what you can make paths like that does that use durability when in main hand when in main hand that's new too Okay, so right-clicking on dirt with a shovel actually does something. Didn't expect that. I don't know. I think that's packed dirt. So, like, if I just go like that. Looks gross. I like the green dirt better. Okay, I'll fix that myself. Uh, secondly, second thing I noticed. Look at this. So, I believe that this is a bug. You can see I got, I got some headway here. If I break this and then put one back down on a redstone block it's not powered the end the only way to power these now is to oh whoops i need another ah do i have no more here i'll just grab this one to show you do that and that you have to update it after you place it so like if that's there darn it i'm messing up okay so that block's powered right powered it doesn't turn on that's a bug I'm sure that's a bug it's just like it needs the update so I was gonna keep it as redstone blocks because I like it and I might change it back but for the time that I'm playing in here I'm just gonna have to update the block because there's no way to do it with the redstone blocks you can't place it it doesn't read it so I'm gonna have to dig up all these put in redstone torches underneath I was just gonna do that and you can see I did this down uh, so when I come back, I think I'm going to have this quarter done probably with the track. I want to lay some more track. Uh, lay some more track today. Work on an easy way to fall down and also pop probably work on this quarter because you see, like I said, I keep calling them quarters, but I'm like halfway done with this. I've mined out half of these tunnels and I have to, you know, once I finish this section, I'll be one quarter of the way done. If you want to be really thorough with your branch mines, what you can do is, like, do the same thing in this way. But, see, that's just, like, way too thorough for me. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm just leaving that like that. So, I'm going to get back to work here. I just wanted to show you guys those little things I found. Let's see. I just, oh, can I do it with gravel? Nope, nothing with gravel. All right. Packed dirt. Pretty cool. Be right back. All right, I've been working away down in the cut. It's actually a day later now. Uh, I had some stuff to do, and I've been working, but it's time to do an enchantment. And, oh, forgot the lapis. Always forget the lapis. Oh, what am I gonna enchant? A fishing rod? What? Oh yeah, lore two, luck of the C1. <laughs> and I also wanted to do this. Rename that to. Uh, I'm just gonna call it Digger because it's a uh, efficiency five. I'm breaking three. Digger one. Nice digger. All right, I'm gonna do some fishing. All right, guys, welcome back. And you probably can't tell watching this because it's a one second skip. But I actually recorded this episode over like three days. I had a lot of stuff to do, uh, actually I had to go to court for a speeding ticket, which takes a ridiculously dumb amount of time. 
uh, I worked during the day and I I was kind of busy this la these last couple days. But I've been working in my off time on the branch mine, like you know. Uh, this has been collecting so much cactus. We're gonna have so much cactus. But down here, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, I've actually finished it. So as I ride, I'll tell you guys. I finished the rail. Uh, I didn't finish the stairs yet. I have to put stairs on both sides. I'm realizing now I have some more stair work to do. But the actual rail itself is done. You can see I didn't do this stair right here. But it took so long. So much mining. It's going to make our lives a lot easier, though. We can just ride around our branch mine now. A lot easier transport. And I've only mined up to... Which one? There. I've only mined up to there. still have, like, more than half of this to mine out. Uh, and... Of course, the stairs to place, but almost every time I come back to this game, there's a new update. So we're already on 15W31C. We started on 15W31A. It's the third version. They fixed pretty much all the bug, uh, pretty much all the noticeable bugs that I could tell. I'm sure that there's still a ton of bugs, but all the ones that I could notice, they fixed. Uh, so I'm going to finish those stairs and work on some sort of ceiling, maybe. I don't know. Uh, also, I want to get to work on digging up that. We're not going to be able to finish the whole branch mine because the project itself is almost somewhat infinite, but uh, I want to push out a video to you guys eventually. I also want to push out a world download, but before I give you a world download, I don't want to be giving you an empty world. You know, I want to give you the stuff that we've built and you've seen us build together. That's one of the reasons I'm spending so much time on this branch mine, just grinding away at it, That so that when you guys get the world download, when you get the world, you'll be able to see like that we actually have something done, that this branch mine is somewhat impressive. And then of course, you know, we got the cactus farm, the wheat farm, that kind of stuff, the horse. The horse is just a horse. I don't even know if that copies over. I'm sure it copies over in the world download. But yeah, this is actually a really big mine that I hit and I caved out most of. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time in the cut here, but uh, let me see, what else did I want to mention? I mentioned the world download. Oh yeah, uh, a couple of you mentioned that the videos got a little dark at night, so I'm going to boost the brightness. I also wanted to mention that for all of you that are interested, I know a lot of you guys are Minecraft guys, but I'm going to start releasing a, some Ark Survival videos soon. Ark Survival. It's like a dinosaur game. <laughs> That's how I describe it to people. It's a dinosaur game. It's super fun though. It's one of my like it's one of my favorite games right now. Uh, although I'm having a ton of fun with this new Minecraft update with this 1.9 stuff. Probably having the most fun with Minecraft, but Ark Survival is is a ton of fun too. So I'll be making videos of that and I'll be making videos of Minecraft, of course, you know. But uh sorry this video took so long to get out to you guys. Uh, I'm going to get back to work, see if we can get some more done. Alright guys, so I'm down here and I'm setting up something I've wanted to set up for so long. Uh, a water break. Just so that I could jump to the bottom without ever having the fear that I'll die. I've died a, once or twice, probably, falling down this thing. Don't want to die ever again falling down here. So I'm just trying to put in some sort of water break. Uh, I think that's good. I think that I'll live if I fall down that. I'll test it. But and normally I would just use signs for something like this. I realize I look kind I realize I look kind of silly doing uh, ladders like I don't really use ladders to hold back water. I prefer to use signs. However, I haven't heard that signs are fixed and if you guys remember in the beginning of this video I mentioned that signs and books can corrupt your world. So, I've been trying to stay away from signs and books until I'm sure they're stable. Uh I saw other videos of people going to the end. I wanted to show you guys something too. And it looked like it was alright. So we might go to the end slash nether soon. I'm almost ready for that. But here, you see, I went fishing and I got this enchanted book. I don't know, like, I can't really combine it with stuff. I know I tried shears, but I've tried other tools to combine it with. Like, I don't know what you do with these. Maybe you guys know. What are you supposed to do with this? It's an enchanted book, but it doesn't have a specific enchantment on it. So I don't know how I'm even supposed to use that. Alright, now let's check to see if this waterfall works. Water break. Oh, come on, work. Oh yeah, it works. Kind of cool, it just pulls you to the middle and then you can fall down. I don't mind it. Uh, I'm going to move these chests. And I have stairs to finish the stairs for this. So I'll be right back once that's done. 
Alright guys, back again. I finished all the stairs on the lower part and I thought, you know, it wasn't hard at all to get those stairs. It was so easy, it was so much fun, it was actually a breeze that I might as well put them in the ceiling too. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, I am going to put them in the ceiling. I'm going to do some sort of pattern like this for the ceiling just because I want, I really do want this place to look nice. Uh, I'm going to do a nice ceiling. I'm going to seal up all the holes to kind of stop get less mobs in here. I think that we should have less mobs in here just because they can't spawn on the stairs. I don't think they could spawn on the tracks and then there's stairs on the other side so they can't really spawn in the corridors for that matter and all the other ones are just going to be the ones that spawn in the actual like here in the tunnels that I dug out you know those will be the only ones that actually spawn. Uh, however if I waited until I finished this if I waited until I finished the ceiling and all that. It would just be way too long. Uh, so I'm going to finish it. I'm going to do it off camera like I did most of this episode. But uh, I'm going to just release this episode here because I want to get some sort of video to you guys. And then we'll get started on another project next time. This this was like a three-day episode for me, even though it's only like 17, 18 minutes. It, it took me like three days to make this episode. Because it was kind of the opposite of the last one. The last one was, let's go on an adventure, where I film almost all of it. And then this one was more like, I'm going to do this really grindy project. You know, you guys wouldn't want to watch this. This is essentially all I was doing. Just digging out blocks and replacing them with different ones. Trying to get the redstone. So, that's all for now, guys. Thank you for watching so much, as always. Uh, if you have a name for the horse, I still want to give the horse a name. So, if you have a name idea for the horse, let me know. Also, I do want to get a new dog and an ocelot eventually. But, yeah, we got exploring to do. Uh, also, while I was uh, walking around this world, or better yet, boating. What is the word for that? Boating. Is boating the word? While I was riding a boat around the oceans of this amplified terrain, I found a, a couple of those underwater fortresses, whatever they're called. I have yet to explore them. I know they were added to the game a little while ago. You guys probably know all about them, but it'll be new and exciting if I go to explore one. I kind of know what the Guardians do, where they give you the mining fatigue and that, but I have never really explored one of those fortresses. I'm excited to. So that'll be something that we do. As you can see, I put the chests over there. I have this stopper so you can just ride around and then you stop again. Nothing nothing else, but, you know, this looks pretty nice. Uh, for the walls, I think I'm just going to leave them, you know, make you feel like you're in a cave. Uh, one other thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to see here. I wanted to see. I want to see. I want to try this. Yep. And I hate, I hate making st uh, fences now because I always forget how it goes. I think it's like this, though hate making fence oh what I did not know they had different colored fences now so it's that or it's that which one looks like a more legitimate support probably the fences so what I'll do is on all of these I'll just go like this and I'll probably bust that out bust that out there yeah that looks nice so I'll do that every six blocks each time there's a powered and I'll try and get this completely polished for next time although we got a lot of headway today you see I'll I'll ride this around and show you we got a lot done on this it'll look nicer once the ceilings in all the way because over here it doesn't look great but we finished the whole floor all these steps so many steps so many rails uh, but it was worth it because this branch mine already like you see I like I said I've only done probably half these tunnels and then dug out the perimeter and I got oh, almost a stack and a half of diamonds so it's very it's, it's very beneficial very much so worth it to build this branch mine uh, plus it was fun I mean and I was thinking I might uh, once I like I said this is a quarter of the branch mine you know this is one of the quadrants and there are three more quadrants but, you know, it could extend onward from there, past those three quadrants. We could just keep going that way or something like that. Uh, I was also considering that when we need to expand the branch mine, digging up and putting, like, a second floor on. 
whatever. We'll see what works. We'll see what we want to do. But uh, we got other projects that we'll get to next time. And the branch mine is going to be something that I'm kind of always working on in the background. We might have another episode that features it, to, so to speak. But uh, for the most part, it's going to be like a background thing. But when you guys get the world download and you go down here, you'll be like, oh, this thing is so cool. So cool. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.